What's good guys? And you already know, our good friends at Nintendo are back at it again, suing more people, more cease and desist. Well, this is not a cease and desist, this is just a... But you, you know what I mean, Nintendo is back at it again. When they can't make the better product, they will just try to find another way to take them down legally. So, Power World came out, which did pretty well. It's basically like Pokemon with guns and like, it's basically kind of like Rust, but with Pokemon. I have never played the game. I don't, it never really interested me that much, but I did think it was cool that like, you know, at least, you know, some more companies trying to give Pokemon a little bit of a run for the money, trying to make them have a bit more competition. So maybe Pokemon might actually do better in making their own games because I don't, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of Pokemon recent games have been mid to ass. I, I, I can't lie, they've been mid to ass. So essentially, it seems like Nintendo feels that uh, Power World is infringing on its copyright. So they're trying to file this lawsuit against Pocket Pair Inc, which is the company that, that made Power World. And I, the only place I could see where they might be coming from is the designs. But I also heard from some people that it might not be the designs, but I'm gonna just be talking about the designs today because I feel like that's the only grounds they even have because everything else is like, okay, this is, is, is a reach. My whole thoughts on this, I feel like all this does is make people more inclined to play your competition Power World because I still feel like this just put Power World back in the spotlight again. Like, a lot, I think a lot of people were stopped. They weren't even playing the game anymore. Like, a lot of people were leaving. <laughs> like, so many people were leaving the game. I, I, From what I heard, like, I don't think most people were even talking about Power World, but even like looking at the comments here, like, look at this. First comment here, this is, this makes me want to go back to play and play Power World. Like, like what are they doing? <laughs> All they're doing is putting attention to the competition. So this is actually hurting them more than, than like what they were doing. Like if they just, you know, kept it up to the side and just decided to make their own Pokemon game. You know, they do have a Pokemon game in the works, you know, the, the new Legends game, like Legends 2 or like, you know, Legends Ah. Uh. But anyways, I wanted to just look at, I have right here a video of, a comparison of some of the Power World and Pokemon designs because I wanted to, because like, it's been a while since I've looked at these uh, designs. I know back then I was like, yeah, this is definitely a copy, but I want to just properly look at, you know, just skim through some of these designs and just see like, yeah, are these really Pokemon copies? This one kind of just looks like a Digimon, honestly. I'm not going to lie. This doesn't even look, this looks like a, I don't remember which Digimon. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen in the editing. Like, but this, this one just looks more like a Digimon than a Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay now, okay, okay now, okay, this, this looks, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about AI generated Pokemon, like come on, come on, like, the resemblance is almost undeniable, like come on, okay, okay, <laughs> oh my god, bro, these designs, <laughs> yeah, now this, this is what I'm talking about when I say AI generated Pokemon. This is like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The stance is the same. Like, bro, if you really squint, they look like, they look like the same Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. They, they look like the same character. I wouldn't say this one's necessarily too much of a copy. Although it definitely gives the same, like, I feel like they base their way of design these. Okay, 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 all right, this, this is, this one just looks like an evolution of it. Like, this looks like it's actually the same. This is actually the same Pokemon. What the hell? So I think overall, if this is just on like the designs and stuff, then maybe they have a claim against this. Maybe they have some sort of thing. Cause some of these designs are kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. They look damn near identical with some of these. So at least at that point, I could understand them. But also, I guess in general, I'm not too big of a fan of just like suing the competition and stuff like that. But hey, it's not like I'm losing out on too much. Power World is I like I think Power World seems it, like it seems like a fun game. Maybe maybe it's cool. But I know the design kind of throw me off. And then Pokemon itself, we know what modern Pokemon's like. Like come on, modern Pokemon is just. It's just trash, my god. It's, it's god off. Like, they, they need a lock in. Other than Legends Arceus, they gotta lock in. Like, they've 
they've been creating trash on garbage on shit on like come on like like this just stop but yeah anyways i'm interested on in seeing where this goes if they actually are able to like destroy the competition if they cause power world to shut down that's gonna be pretty bad honestly i feel like just destroying the competition like this would be kind of bad even if this is kind of like copying the designs i think like honestly you could just ignore them like it's not like people are playing power world more than they're playing pokemon even though like pokemon games have been ass for like 10 years now and there's still way more people playing and knowing about Pokemon than Power World. Like, this is not challenging you guys at all. Like, you are fine. Trust me. But yeah, that, that's all there is for this. I'm going to keep paying attention to this story. See if it develops here and there. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Nintendo, obviously, they just suing people. I don't know. They, they suing.